the Democratic Republic of the Congo, a huge country with a population of about 150 million, is the 15th most populous country in the world. According to various humanitarian organizations, nearly 60% of women in one of the provinces of the Democratic Republic of the Congo use pieces of loincloths as sanitary pads. This practice leads to genital and urinary infection, sterility and cancer. Sanitary pads, which are basic necessities, are categorized as luxury goods by customs. Because of poverty, many young girls don't go to school during their menstruation period. Women in prison, young girls known as street children and those in displaced areas as a result of the recurring war in the eastern part of the country also face the same precariousness and menstrual poverty. We realized that there was a lot of talents in the church. We can't always expect help from outside. We have to stand up and share what we have. It's very, very important. The formation has lasted for about 4 hours of time. 4 hours. And we learned to do the serviette hygienic. The serviette hygienic. Et ces serviettes, euh, on a eu à fabriquer six serviettes, si je ne me trompe pas, je ne me trompe pas six serviettes. Et on a compris que à, à l'aide de ces serviettes-là, on pouvait aider les autres. Parfois, on a tous l'envie d'aider les gens, on voit des gens à difficulté, tout, on a envie d'aider, mais on ne sait pas comment aider. Alors, selon nous, on s'est dit, d'abord on a glorifié le Seigneur et puis on a dit merci pour cette grâce. Parce que grâce à ça, on a reçu la, euh, la formation. Maintenant, maintenant, on est capable de fabriquer nous-mêmes les serviettes hygiéniques et aider les autres qui sont dans le besoin. Among us are seamstresses, accessory makers, fashion designers, stylists, the list goes on. In a country where the unemployment rate is about 84%, we need motivation to work. I think it's an excellent idea that Yeshua has put into our hearts. Building this center for so-called straight women and those who have no parents who can help them, I'm convinced that this project will become a reality. This sewing project will help them one day. You know, those who end up on the streets are there by circumstances. Imagine in this context, one father of 10 children who doesn't have much money won't be able to feed and clothe all the children. They want to get dressed, so the girls will go to boys to help them meet their needs and help them pregnant and abandon their child because they can't take care of themselves. This project will really help street children as well as women in prison or in the street. Yeshua is in control of everything. That's why we have set up a sewing workshop. Sewing workshop where a few sisters with knowledge can share their expertise. My question is la suivante. Je voudrais savoir si après cette formation on pouvait on doit aller continuer à coudre à la maison bien on sera en contact avec la sœur Amélie, la sœur Amélie. Okay.